16,000 princesses were kidnapped by Narakasura. It would have been hell. The second day of Diwali, Krishna destroys Narakasura. The princesses are set free and Krishna marries them. But to follow on from the first day of Diwali being an honor and celebration of wealth, where we are taught to put aside a little bit and save, when we keep for ourselves more than what we require, that we can't even use it, that hoarding then, not only do we not enjoy the wealth, we don't let anyone else enjoy the wealth. We see that when a river stops flowing, it putrefies. When air stops flowing, the room becomes stuffy and suffocating. With us too, life is a constant flow. And so with the resources that come to us, we use, we give. But if we hoard, it will suffocate us. We invoke Krishna's cross to kill these selfish tendencies in us. For Puja Gurudev would say, only when we defeat the negativities in our own heart are we able to become a light to ourselves and to others.